everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll show you how to make an animation just like this one for any song using Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Now, start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render. And then, we need to go into the Video Editor to add the music. So we'll go into Video Editing, and then click Add, and then click Sound, and then select the song that you want to visualize in the animation. Okay, so when you have the song selected, click Add Sound Clip and then play the song. And now you probably want to figure out when the song ends in the animation. So j just test out different end frames and figure out when it ends. Now in this tutorial, I'm not going to render out the whole song. But if you want to render out the whole song, you need to figure out the right end frame so that the animation stops at the right point. Okay, so back at the default, click N to make the transform setting show up and then change the X and Y value to 0.3 in the scale and then change the set value to 2.5. Now click numpad 1 to go to the front view and then click G then set to move the bar on the set axis. And then left click to confirm the position and then set the origin point to the 3D cursor so that when we scale the bar, it's only going to scale from that point, which is very important. Now, for this animation, we're going to have uh, seven graphs. So click numpad one, then click shift D to duplicate, then click G, X, then one to grab the duplication one unit on the X axis, and then click shift R to repeat the previous actions, which is basically to duplicate and move it on the X axis one unit. So now we have the seven graphs, so now select the bar and then select delta scale down here and then open a new window by dragging it down. And we're going to use the graph editor and the uh, delta scale to animate the bars by baking the music to the bars. So select the key and then open it and then deselect the y and x axis and then go to key and then click bake sound to f curves and then open the song. So just find the song on your computer. So Lanky inspired. Now set the lower frequency to zero and then the second one to 120 for the first bar. And then change the attack time to 0 0.015. Or at least that's what I think looks the best in terms of response time for the music. And then click bake sound to F curves. And then when we go to the uh, right frame, you'll see that we have the animation. Now we're going to repeat this process for all of the other bars. So uh, let's pause the animation and do the same for the second one. Now let's go to the first frame and then do the same. And for this one, we're going to do it from 120 to 250. And then we select the third one and set it from uh, 250 to 350. And then select the fourth one and set it from 350 to 600. And the next rough I will set from 600 to 1000. So 600 to 1000. Then let's select the next one and set it from 1000 to 10,000. And then the last graph I will set from 10,000 to 16,000. Okay, so when we go back and play the animation, you will see that we have every graph moving. Now, sometimes you will see that one of the graphs move very little, but uh, that's probably just because of the uh, way the song works. So uh, that doesn't really matter. So let's uh, save the file before we go to the next step of the tutorial. Just give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And then click enter to save the file. Okay, now let's uh, left click below the graphs and click shift A and add a plane, which will be, will be the uh, floor. Then click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And try to move it as close as possible. And then click S to scale it up. And then select the lamp. Let's just move up this window and remove it. And then go into the lamp settings, change it into a sun, change the size to one, click use nodes and increase the strength to let's say uh, seven. And now to uh, grab the sun, click G to grab, and then R to rotate. 
and there we have the lighting. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, you can just use the CPU. And you click Shift Set to switch between the rendered view and solid view. And I will make the background a little bit darker. And then select the floor. And then go into the materials. New material. And then change it to a glossy material. Then set the color to a dark blackish color. And then the roughness to 0.2. Now when it comes to the colors of the graphs and the background and so on, you can add whatever color you want, but I'm going to make my graphs blue. So if you want to have multiple colors or another color, just change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter for the final animation result. So uh, click number zero to see through the camera, and I click Shift F to use the fly cam, and move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game. And now we need to uh, play the animation so that we can see if everything is within the frame of the uh, camera. And if it's not, you need to uh, move backwards with Shift F and uh, S. Okay, so now I'm going to make a few more adjustments before we go into the render settings. So uh, I might move the camera around a bit and change the colors. And as you can hear, I speeded up this part of the uh, recording. So let's pause it. And I also decided to change the roughness of the floor. So if you want the same roughness as in the final animation, set the floor roughness to 0.05. And that's about it. And then I made the blue color a little bit brighter. Okay, and then go into render settings, increase the resolution quality to 100%. And then for the output, which is where you save the final animation, just give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. I'm saving it at the TMP folder. The video type, I would recommend setting it to some form of uh, MPEG type file and uh, change the quality to a uh, high one. And uh, add the MP3 to the video. And then scroll down to sampling. And if you want the sample to be higher, change the render value. But uh, I'm just going to keep it at 128 for the final animation. And this is basically what it looks like. So uh, let's scroll down. And if you have a uh, GPU, change the tiles to 500. If you just have a CPU, you can just keep them at 64. Now, before we make the test render, you can also change the colors and the camera angle one last time. So uh, let's make a test render before we render out the whole animation. So this is what it looks like. And then you know how long it takes to render each frame. And I think I'll increase the strength to 10 for the uh, sun as well. When I sometimes speed up the uh, recording, it's just because I'm doing changes that uh, don't really matter for the final animation. Okay, so uh, I think everything looks fine. So now it's time to render out the whole animation. This is probably going to take some time. So uh, just be patient. And to start the animation render, just click animation. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank guys for watching and subscribe.